last night on The Bachelorette. My sister looks absolutely beautiful as The Bachelorette, but there are a lot of guys here. She's not gonna be able to hear and see everything. I have a plan. It involves a disguise. You guys know me as Charles, serving drinks. No way. That's a fake mustache. I'm Nehemiah Charity's older brother. And scene. Um, would you like to try that a little simpler, maybe? No. We're back, ladies and gents. He awakened. It's time to emerge from our slumber as another Bachelor off-season ends and Charity's turn as the Bachelorette begins. Very cool, Master. Thank you. And for some awful reason, they push the show to 9 p.m. after... Claim to fame. No clue why, but I imagine ABC had some sort of meeting about it that went like... Ah! Stop! 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 Please let me go! Please let me go first! I'm doing something! Still, the show must go on, and we have a brand new season of nonsense to sift through. Well, it's finally the moment we've all been waiting for. Charity is pulling up right now, ready to meet 25 amazing men. Wait, 25 guys? That's it? Isn't it always like 30 dudes at least? But Charity has arrived and so have the limos, and in the ever coveted first out of the limo spot is Aaron B, whose best pickup line turns out to be... Flip. A. Coin. Flip a goddamn coin? That's what we came up with? Flip a coin. That's lame as shit. I have a lucky coin. Okay. I'm gonna flip it. If it's heads, okay. we get engaged. Okay. Uh, if it's tails, mm -hmm. I pack my bags, I go home. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's heads! <laughs> ah, I see someone found a magic shop in the airport on his way here. Now after Aaron B, we get a string of guys with no real gimmicks or wild attention grabs until... What's up, Cherry? Hi. Wow, ABC, wow. Too soon, too soon. Listen, when I knew that you were the bachelorette. Okay. Oh, This is Chris. He's apparently a world record jumper, and is that really his full profession? Like, does he go to malls and jump for people or something? Either way, expect him to be doing this all episode. Parkour! And I mean, really, that's all he'll be doing. Okay, I'm oh, done. No. That, that guy's doing backflips, and I'm in HR. We then get a nurse because, of course, every season from this franchise can't exist without one. And then there's Spencer. What's your name? My name's Spencer. Spencer. Um, well, I'll tell you more about me. For sure. Um, I, I guess for instance, uh, me, I'm Spencer. Yes, you're I, Spencer. I, uh... Okay, he's either really nervous or he's about to say something really strange. If anyone, you know, like, gets out of line with you. Okay. Right? Yeah. You're just gonna kick him right in the nuts. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna practice. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Wide stance. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know if I can do that in this dress. Oh God, what's, what's happening? Up, what's up? Can't believe it only took 20 seasons of The Bachelorette for a man to finally come on and make his first impression by saying, kick my nuts. Yeah. Oh no, I would never do that. And I don't have much freedom in this dress, so it's okay. We'll save that for when I actually need to do it. Okay, I know she'd never do it, but at this point, part of my brain was screaming, Just kick this jerk in the balls. <laughs> and when he bends over, give him a knee to the nose and be done with it. Do you think you left a good first impression? I think so. I was trying to be memorable, right? So from here, we get a pro wrestler and a whole lot of hunks with height, until the final man comes out, one Charity was probably not expecting. <gasps> oh my god. Now if you watched Zack's season, you might remember Charity's brother Nehemiah. And he's not just here to support Charity, he's also on a mission. Reality is there's always bad apple or two. So, tonight, I'm about to become undercover brother. This is gonna be fun. I'm sorry, who saw this Party City wig and mustache and thought this was a good idea? Nehemiah really thinks he's coming in as the undercover brother when actually it's more like... Hello. 
Okay. So with the entrances complete, Charity gives a toast to the adventure ahead, and our night officially begins. And while men like Joey, James, and Xavier cuddle up with Charity, Nehemiah takes his post at the bar and goes about listening in on these guys' conversations while wearing what is truly one of the stupidest mustaches I've ever seen. But enough of this goofy face, let's get back to this goofy face, as Spencer has something to reveal to Charity. I feel more anxious than I thought I would. I think the stakes are higher for me because I have a son. I haven't told her yet. Okay, I don't know this guy, I don't know his deal, but I'm like 20% sure production slipped some horse tranquilizer into his champagne. I, uh, <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. You're in healthcare? Feeling. Mm -hmm. You're awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. Um, You're awesome! Yeah. <laughs> Next, we cut to Aaron B again, who serenades Charity and then goes... Flip... A... Coin! And this time, the trick coin earns him a kiss. Then, shortly after, Brayden gets one too, after opening up to Charity, sharing that, just like as Charity said on her season of The Bachelor, he too has been cheated on, and he's found himself drawn to Charity's empathy. But after Brayden goes in for some extra kisses... Dude, that kiss was amazing. Like, she's amazing. Damn. Her lips felt amazing. She did a little... She did a little little lip bite on my lip and I was like, ooh. <laughs> Brayden is starting to get a little overconfident. All the while, the other men are starting to notice and get annoyed, including the undercover brother. I mean, I think she's such a good kisser okay. too. Like, Carlos smells so nice. Like, so freaking nice, dude. Uh, I don't even know what I said. I said something like, oh, I definitely need another one. And then she pulled me back in for a second kiss, and I'm like, ugh. Brayden has a huge ego. Well, now that Nehemiah finally has something to report on, it's time to make his big reveal. You guys know me as Charles? Serving drinks? It's a fake mustache. No way. This man really said it's a fake mustache when the mustache was out here looking like this? So everyone pretends to be shocked that the man who looked like this and who made drinks like this was not actually a bartender. And Nehemiah goes to fill Charity in on what he's heard, which is mostly nothing. He tells Charity he was pleasantly surprised with the men, especially Aaron, but that Brayden was borderline arrogant and his focus on getting a rose could be problematic. So Charity walks back in and tells the room her brother said some interesting things and then asks Brayden to come and have a chat. And Brayden, who's been doing this in his mind all night, is now suddenly going, I'm having a meltdown! Well, Charity shares her brother's concerns, and Brayden says he wasn't trying to brag, he was just giddy. And honestly, I don't think what he did was too bad, especially with what we've seen done on this show in the past. I mean, sure, he was extra with telling everyone about the kiss, and you don't earn any friends that way, but if all Nehemiah could learn was that one dude was a little cocky getting a kiss, then either this is a great group of guys, or they all saw through the worst episode of Undercover Boss in history. Now at this point, Charity decides to go for a think and let Brayden stew for a bit. And when she comes back, she sits down and tells Brayden... Psych! <laughs> Actually, she totally digs how giddy and energetic Brayden is about her and how confident he's been, so... You have every single right to feel that because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. No, deep yeah. friends. Um Yes, you saw that right. Brayden is like the opposite of in trouble. He's getting the first impression rose, leaving everyone else as shocked as when they found out Nehemiah's mustache was fake, but like with real shock this time. And look, we don't know if Brayden is actually going to be a villain or anything yet, but one thing I hear time and time again from leads whenever we see someone getting a rose even though they're involved in drama or are acting extra is that extra, well, feels safe. Sometimes you can be so afraid that these contestants are not actually here for love and just want a platform that when someone comes out and acts giddy about you, that can be really reassuring. Either way, Brayden has his rose and we can now move into the rose ceremony for the night, where 
where, for the most part, every man who received proper screen time this episode gets a rose. And when it comes down to the last one, this one's between Spencer, Jumper Guy, and a man who... Wait, no, not another pilot, Pete. This guy has got to go. Spencer. Spencer, we accept this phrase. Probably. So with that, Parkour Man, Pilot Pete 2.0, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy are gone, and we're already down to just 19 men. And as for my final pick, well, after night one and taking a look at the big season preview, my current final pick for charity is... Xavier. As for the reasoning why, be sure to check out my season preview sleuthing video out the day after this video releases. And so, at the end of the episode, Charity toasts to the journey still to come, and another season is finally off. So that's it for this recap of night one of Charity season of The Bachelorette. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, Comment your thoughts down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel as there's a whole lot of content still ahead of us. And, until next time, Bachelor Fan Take, out. Um, would you like to try that a little simpler, maybe? No.